Now let's take a look at the DPOT demo LAVI project. DPOT is an abbreviation for Digital Potentiometer. Here I have the Digilent PMOD DPOT device. I have SBI serial bus communication and power on the A connector, and I've set up the potentiometer as a voltage divider, measuring the voltage on the B connector. Here I can set the 8-bit value of the digital potentiometer, and here I'm monitoring the analog voltage produced by the voltage divider. The potentiometer voltage is proportional to the digital word, and when I hit the maximum possible value of 255, then I'm just under the supply voltage, which is 5 volts on my Rio. Here's the midpoint voltage, right around 2.5. I'll also point out that you can make steps go one at a time using the arrow buttons there, or you can use the page up and page down keys on this VI. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Let's take a look at the details of the block diagram. Everything is encased in this while loop structure, and we need to follow a specific sequence. First, by enabling the chip select low, and I do that with the digital output express VI. I'll point out that you can select any of the available digital IOs on my Rio right here. And should you want to for other projects, you can easily add additional channels or remove those channels. On this first one, then I'm setting false or a low value. Next, I need to write the digital value on the SPI bus. And that begins with the numerical value set on this control. While I'm here, I'll point out that you can use the advanced key navigation feature to specify the page up and page down keys for increment and decrement, or you could use any of the available function keys and other keys listed here. That 8-bit value is specified as a U8 data type, but the SPI Express VI is expecting a 16-bit array. First step, convert that data type to unsigned 16-bit. And that's handled under the numeric palette, under conversions, and this one specifically. Even though I only have a single value, it still needs to be specified as an array data type. That's located right here, build array. Now, once that value is applied to the SBI Express VI, let's take a look at the inside. There's one on either connector, A or B. This is a reminder of which pins to use, and I've got this set up to write a value out the SPI port. The frequency is defaulting to one megahertz. If you try to put in arbitrary values and push validate, you can get a sense of the maximum possible frequency, which is four megahertz. And I'll set this back to one megahertz, that's plenty fast. We need eight bit values for the DPOT device. And the other thing I'll point out we also need to transmit using the default of most significant bit first. Once that value has been written, we then need to send the chip select back high, and I do that with a second instance of digital output, and this is on the same output pin, of course. Lastly, I am going to use the analog input Express VI to read the wiper voltage on the DPOT potentiometer. Again, I'll point out you have a number of possible analog inputs there. Finally, that value that's read from the analog input is displayed back on the dial gauge here. This is a member of the silver front panel palette under numeric, and it's this gauge right here. I'll also mention that to get the numerical display to appear, you simply right click on the gauge, say visible items, and make sure digital display is checked. Now again, as I mentioned earlier, this sequence of steps is very important and the air cluster propagates in such a way to ensure that we get the appropriate sequence. Any one of these can generate an air condition or pressing the stop button back here or pressing escape will cause us to break out of the while loop structure. We pass through the air handler and finally execute a reset my Rio. Lastly, this Weight is pacing the loop at 10 milliseconds per loop pass.